right, so we're looking at a few things that have to do with absolute value and identifying what that is and how that even makes a difference in what we're what we're trying to understand with the the rest of this math. Um, but absolute value, what you know, need to know is that it's the distance a number is away from zero. If you look at this time, this number line, um, the absolute value of five is five because it is five units away from zero, and the absolute value of negative three is just three. It's not negative three, it's just three. It's how far away is negative three away from zero? Well, it's three units away from zero. And the way you would write this, um, you see this negative three with the two parallel lines to it. Those two parallel lines means absolute value. So the absolute value of negative three is three. The absolute value of five is five. And the absolute value of zero, zero is zero units away from zero. So the absolute value of zero is zero. So that's absolute value. Let's take a look at something related to that. Uh, well, first, this is the, the notation. If you can put this in your notes, um, absolute value of a is a, and the absolute value of any num a negative number, uh, negative a, is going to be a. Um, so you can kind of just think of absolute value just turns any number positive no matter what, because um, you're just finding out how far away it is from zero. Um, so kind of tying in with that is something called the opposite. If you're trying to find the opposite of number, it's just basically negating that number. If you see this number line up here, the opposite of 5 is going to be negative 5. Um, it's the negative version of that. And the opposite of negative 5 is going to be 5. They're opposites of each other. Um, opposite of 27 is negative 27. The opposite of negative 35 is 35. And you can think of the opposite as an, of the opposite of negative thirty five or any negative number as a negative negative thirty five. Why do you think that is? I think it might be because if you have a negative number and you're finding the opposite of that, well, it's like if you have the opposite of an opposite, it turns you back to what you started. The neg opposite of a negative ends up being a positive. So a negative negative 35 actually is a uh, positive 35. Um, and that's going to come back when we get into subtracting uh, integers. Um, but the opposite of a number is actually more commonly known as the additive inverse. Because um, what you, the additive inverse is whatever you need to add to a number to get zero. And so the additive inverse of seven is the opposite of seven. It's negative seven. Um, because seven plus negative seven is zero. Um, the additive inverse of negative 46 is 46. Because negative 46 plus positive 46 is zero. It brings you right back. Um, to the middle of the number line. So you might be wondering, well, when is any of this stuff ever used? When is abs especially absolute value? Why do I need to know how far away it is from zero? Um, say you're jogging from your house and you go five blocks east. I'm going to draw a little picture here. This is your nice little one bedroom home. Very tiny, but enough for, enough for an Xbox and a, a computer. And let's see, you're jogging because you are care you worry about your well-being I'm gonna do positive um, let's go five blocks east five blocks I'm gonna say B well I'll just write it out five blocks east and then next we go seven blocks west passing your house and then four blocks east again so I'm gonna go seven blocks west turn around I'm gonna go this way because I have nowhere else to run and just nothing else to do but run around my house. Um, seven blocks e west, and then I'm gonna go four blocks east again. So seven, let's see, four blocks east again, four blocks. Now, let's see. I could probably ask myself a few questions from here. Um, I could ask how far away I am from my home which in this case would be five, I went five, but then I took seven away, but then I was actually only two, this right here is only two blocks away, but then I w went over four more blocks, and so that's two, and that's, I'm really only two blocks away from my house, um, even though I went right, left, right. But, if I'm two blocks away from my house, the other question I can ask is how far have you traveled? which is the, the absolute value. I didn't really add these numbers together for the, uh, the first question, because I, I added them, I did seven minus, five minus seven plus four, which ended up giving me two. 
But if I took the absolute value of each one of these, five plus seven plus four, that's gonna give me a total amount, which is 12, 16 blocks um, total. And so now we, ne we don't necessarily talk about this in what is the absolute value of what you went running the other day because you're a math nerd and that's what you talk about. We don't, use, we don't really talk about it like this, but this is the general principle of absolute value and a, a general idea of when it can be used. So this is gonna help us really understand some of our stuff when we get into adding and subtracting integers.